ain't got gloves, so I'm going super careful. Friends, get your ratchet wrench. Just go get one right now. It rips off or wherever. If you're around this area, go to Walkers. They should have them. But rips off here in the States or anywhere, I think, overseas. Or So good to have a freaking 72 back in my mittens. Uh, this is this is Pavarotti. Uh Time to grind this bar, I think. Do some maintenance. Um, I flipped my chain yesterday. So friends, I've had a really, really aggressive grind on my on my grinder. And and that's like I'm under the top plate like you wouldn't believe. Like it's a sliver cut, it's fast. And in the next video, but the only thing about that is when you have anything, yeah, see, this is super nice. It's holding a good edge. But I, I've got two grinders. For, oh yeah, see that, that's lovely actually. But my stone is worn out almost. So I got another grinder. I, I bought one, Hogan talked about getting into grind and chain. So I bought one while it was at, at Walker's and, and here we are here. I just set it up in the old shop, just throw it in the vise. I like grinding to be able to see my top edge. Do you guys know what I mean by that? Well, I'll show you what I'm, I'm kind of getting at here. If, if this kind of will, will make any sense. All right. <laughs> Friends, good morning. Just a quick note before we get into the video. I've been asked by many, many, many cutters to either... Someone asked me, actually even asked me to buy my angles from me, to buy my, friends, the the 54 or whatever it is, 451C, I guess it is. It is the Symington Grinder. It is glorious, friends. I bought one, my, my first grinder, friends. I'll never, you guys have heard the story, but I will tell it again at some point. When I, when I switched from hand file and no raker gauge. Oh yeah. It was right down the road and I first started working with bear claw. It was my first job that I ever worked with bear claw. Fallen, fallen, not, not tree work, fallen. He says, I got some timber to cut down there for Haslam's. I'm like, Haslam's are like my fat. Let's go. Anyway, down there, I get pinched. He comes limping along, sauntering along the log with his 372 with his 30 inch bar. And I'm pinched and he passes it down to me. I'm down on the shalal. He's walking a log, right? And he passes it to me. And I cut myself out and I look up at him and, he, and I can see the twinkle in his eye because I'm not the first guy he's passed his saw to and someone go, <gasps> it, it's a thing, friends. It's, it, it's a glorious moment, actually. Actually, Ian Shaw experienced the exact same thing. And a gentleman that I worked with, Jorge, I call him, Georgie. He might be watching. I don't know if he is. But he was out there falling with me one time and I handed him my chain and he was like, same deal, giving him a hand or whatever, right? And he, I says, How, how's that? He goes, that's fast chain I ever cut with. <laughs> Shortly after that, George got on the grinder. It's just how it goes, friends, okay? Uh, George, if you're watching, I love you, brother. Good to see you. Say hi to your wife and, and kids, Donna and that. Um, but anyway, um, this grinder, friends, came from a, a legend in these parts. Hovey, we call him. He's known me since I've been a little kid. My mom, he's like, he was like the Paul Bunyan, big barrel-chested, bearded faller. And, and, uh, but anyways, this grinder, Danny McGiffin got it somehow. And it sat in a box. Danny wasn't, Danny ground for a little bit, but he, it was just in a tote in his shop. Well, I got wind of it. 
I think I paid $450 for it, but it did fall over at some point because you could see the arms were welded. And I know when I switch from one side and go over to the other side, that there's just a slight, you know, you have to make a little adjustment and away you go. So I, I learned to grind years ago is what I'm saying. Um, so there's all kinds of different grinding videos on, on uh, YouTube. I, I will tell you one of the best ones is the Bailey's ones with a super nice guy. He's sitting there and he shows you the basics like I'm doing here now. Uh, he's just a sweet fella. Don't know his name, but it's through the Baileys. Just go for uh, Symington 451. You'll run into him. It's like 12, 13 years old or something. Great basic video to show you what's what. Um, friends, I've tried all kinds of things. There's even things that no one has shown on here that I've done to my grinder and, and then gone back and forth. And it's the actual arm. You can actually... Bear Claw showed me all this. So uh, just, there is no, <sighs> friend, this whole genre, the chainsaw and the filing things, I do this and I do this and all oh, you're not doing it. Friends, it's ridiculous because all our wood is different. All our situations are different. We're all mechanically different, physically. Like we're all, I prefer to see my side, my side plate. I don't, I can't look down because if I look down on my ch on my chain, all I'm seeing is my top plate. You understand? I need to see into my side plate so that I can see the corner. If I come under my top plate, I can instantly see a top a side beak. Bear Claw taught me when I'm grinding to just watch that little spark come. As soon as it just just under the top plate, like minuscule, you're set. So I like a, a I call it the minuscule side beak. Right in the corner is great. It's going to give you the most durability. Absolutely. But friends, I realized after this chain, I ground this chain and I took it into the wood and I'll show you that video too. I might show you a blurb in this video. Uh, it cuts lovely. It cuts lovely, but it don't cut like my grind. <laughs> no, it doesn't at all. Actually, it's a completely different experience. So, so, so don't think for a second you can't be making those grinders cut crazily. Mine's forward, right? Like that one I showed you where you slide it forward and get it really sharp. But I'm going to kick that back a bit because it doesn't last as long. It, it just doesn't, friends. It's anything that's super duper sharp gets duller quicker. This is just my, my theory. Like if it's thinner, you know what I mean? A thinner blade is not as durable as a thicker blade. Hence the mauls and the axes and the choppers and the splitters. Let's get back into her. The Symington. If you have this grinder, this may help you, this may not. This is one of the best grinders, well it is one of the best grinders on the market. Because it allows you to do things that others don't okay and I'm going to show you what those are right now let's start with that adjustment right there see this one here friends this one it's it's set for a fairly durable grind right now here how smooth that motor is this if you bring this down there here friends okay what that's going to do is it's going to make your angles sharper like so that means on your side plate, it's, you know, like this way, it's going to be blunter out this way where it's at. So if I was to move this forward, my side plate would be more like that and sharper. And that's fine for super clean, perhaps small wood, high raker settings. You got to be careful. This is set for a very durable kind of a blunter uh Grind, okay? Does that make sense? On your side plate, on this side angle here, okay? So it this is wonderful. They're all slightly a little bit different, probably if you think about it. This is your height. This is just simply your height. This one here, you loosen a, a nut here. You just turn this up and down. This goes up and down here, okay? You loosen this off and this goes up and down, which is basically just your height, friends. So you can get in up around your tooth. You see, right? So you can imagine if we wanted to, so let's slide this in so you can see what I'm talking about. See this here? Boom, we're in, right? 
See? We're in there on the grinder. You guys want to go closer? I'll bring you freaking closer. Okay, so there you go. But we want to be able to see everything here, friends, too. Okay, so, so here's the grind. Let's get everything. There, that gives us all the adjustments and the whole freaking deal. Now, this is your corner adjustment here. This one. This just brings you... So, and you've got stoppers here, right? So, so this is it, friends. This, this, look, watch. See? I'm going to come down. See, I just moved that. My corner's going to come in a bit now. Okay. There's a ground chain. Now, if I loosen this off, right, and then do that one we were talking about, this one on the outside, it's going to either lift it up or down, which will change your angles a bit there as well, right? Now, you have two dressers. One here, which is your side angle. Whether you want your side plate to be back or straight, I like five degrees back, bottom back further about five degrees. So looking at a straight tooth, some guys go straight. I don't like that, but I, I go like that a little bit. Just about five degrees is what I shoot for, okay? Um, the, other, the other adjustment over here, the top plate is your top plate, which you, friends, if you're looking at this video, you know what the top plate is, okay? So we just ground that chain. Why don't we, why don't we take a look at just what happened? Oh, look at this. There it is. Let's see if we can get the right angle. I think we can, it's, it's gonna come to us. There it is, nope. There it is. See your corner? That's actually a nice grind. Very nice grind. It's durable, it's kind of blunt. We're under the top plate, nice. We're right up in the corner. We're almost bordered. No, that's right dead square in the corner. Time to dress the stone, friends. So, so let's have a look at this. Go down. Watch this. Boom. Oh, hello. See the little corner beak? I, you see that little side? That I call it a side beak. Most guys go right in the corner. And that little point out there depends on what you're cutting. Okay. It's not as strong. I actually enjoy a little side beak, friends. But your rakers have got to be just... So So let me show you the difference. Okay, there we go. But I'm a little awkward because I'm kind of... Yeah, this is, this is very awkward, actually. But I can still get in there. So I will make the effort to get in here. Check this out. Okay, you see it rock back? So there will still be the slightest, ever so slight side beak. And I'm gonna show you. I actually prefer those breads. Watch. Let's keep this, let's keep this rolling, this nice focus. Let's just keep this going. Here we come, check it out. Oh, I love this focus, the best focus in town. Look at that. Oh my dear Lord. Can you see the slightest of side beaks? It's called a side beak. A top beak will not cut. That is a nice grind, friends. All right. Now, sha freaking bangle. Uh huh. Square ground chain. Okay, that that chain's ground. So now we just pull ahead, sha clank, and she drops in. These go behind your teeth, not behind, like right behind. They go now. I put a thumb here. This isn't my favorite lighting. I'm, I'm going to give it to you straight. It's not.
Okay. So, oh yeah, this is, you guys need to step back. Now that's in the corner. That's what you call in the corner, Bobby Walker. See the, see the little bit of stuff on top, friends? Right? It's a burr, like any filing. It just dusts off. If you're trying to figure out your grinder, friends, okay, and you want to know what's going on in the Symington zone, and you want to know what's happening, go like this. I mean, it's obvious. You, you, your corner goes in the corner. You can flex these a bit too, like this. Watch. So stop. Go like this. Have a look where it's hitting. Where we? Oh, we're totally in the corner and up on the top plate alone right now. That tells you something. That tells you that you could back this off a bit and go up. Now watch this. That's a ground chain with a slight side beat. Oh dear Lord. So, you probably saw that, didn't you? Yeah, you did. I reckon you did. I'm gonna do you a solid. I'm gonna totally do you a solid. See what I mean? See the little bird on there? It just goes away. Isn't that nifty, friends? You're not gonna believe what I paid for this grinder, neither. See? I like this grinder better than mine, actually. Oof. Dressing your stone. Get the side bar out of the way. What I personally like to do, friends, is I like to come in the top. Just Okay, just like that. I'll explain this to you. You're gonna come in with me here. If I decide that I want, let's say, where's the tooth? I like to drop down to that line. See that where the gullet, the dark line, that, that's where I like to go to. See, you can see where my grind is. And this is my grind. This is not Bobby's grind. Bobby's is up there. My side plate, that is perfect for side plate. I like mine to come back about five degrees off dead center. See how it's, see how it's slanting back? I like it. It's a little grabbier. Look at Bobby's grind. Look at See, it's different than mine. It's almost straight up and down. I like to go to that line. Get out of the way. That's here. We should be, where are we? Okay, so we turn this in just a hair until it, see we're not grabbing? Hear it? Okay, that is dressing your stone. And you'll know, friends, you'll know if you've got a round corner or not because you won't see that line up in your corner. Let me bring you into my stone, my tooth. Oh, well, I'll be darned. Friends, are, are you like... Mm-hmm. So I hope that helps, friends. It's not an extensive one, but th these are just tools that every turn and tweak of all these little things will make a difference in the cut. They just will. And that's for you to find out on your own. 100% for you to figure out on your own.
I put, oh, this is a long tooth. See, see, so we'll be way down. See that? We need to back this off. This is the corner. There, we got it. Listen how smooth it is. You can see it hit the corner. Change the corner. That's a sharp tooth. There it goes. It's gone. Building a new corner right there. Done. I'll tell you right now, though, a top beak will not cut. But, friends, my suggestion to you, the only way to do this is try different grinds for yourself. Try one with a with a, a smaller side plate, right? Try it. Take a look under there. You, are you, don't get a top beak. You do not want a top beak. Top beaks won't cut nothing. Anyways, friends, that's my freaking little grinder thing for the day. I hope this helped you. I've been doing this for about 20 years now. Grinding chain. Playing with different levels. There's another level too that I haven't shown you. Bear Claw showed it to me. I didn't know you could even do it. If you want to get funky, you can get real funky with it. We'll save that for another day. <laughs> Friends, work hard, be honest, and be kind. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll end off with a beautiful rendition of a grind for you. I'll be, I'll, I'll get in there super tight. Woof, I'm in max. Let's see if I can get you guys right freaking in there. Right? Oh yeah, game on. See my side plate right now? It's different, watch this change. Oh, this is nice angles. Watch the top corner. Boom. See that? See that ever so slightly, that little teeny side beat there. You can change that. See that? That's her. Yeah, I'll probably crank my side plate back. I'm gonna try this grind and then I want my side plate back like that a bit more. That was extreme, but you know what I'm saying. Lighting is everything. Let's have a look at what happened there. Oh, dear Lord. Husqvarna. Look, Johnny, say hi to all your fans. This hey, is hi, this fans. is this is the man, the man who that all you folks who have gone over to see this WalkerSawShop.com and and all that. This is the man who runs the show. You don't see me much because I'm doing all the work. That's right. He's keeping the family going. That's right. He's keeping it rolling, and this is little ride here, and Johnny has. Uh, huh? We've been supporting one another for, it's gotta be 25 years now, John. Well, at least, yeah. At least, look at this nice trailer. So friends, I I got serious with myself. I will still mow some stuff by hand, but I thought about it when I go on little adventures and cutting adventures like I wanna do, and the grass is growing, well, it's not gonna wait for me. My family needs to be able to cut this when I'm not here, so I, I broke down. I straight up broke down. Look at this unit, Johnny. <laughs> See, it's just for you. See, it's the special edition. Oh, special for special buck and belly freaking <laughs> racers. Okay, I'm making noise. 
Okay, so run me through the process. What's the, what do you just pull choke turn? Yeah, it might not need choke because it's warm, but half throttle choke. Yeah. Make sure these are out. Out, oh, yeah. Get your parking brake. Yeah, it's. Didn't need a choke. But. No. Oh, yeah, that's nice. It's a cowie. How do you turn the blades on that blue switch or this red switch? The red one, yeah. That's it, bang. Yeah. But yeah, you gotta be at full power. Oh, do you? Yeah. So, like so, if I did it, now there, it would, it would just die. Kill, it would just kill the engine. So, so you be, you just sit there right up three quarters throttle and just, no, full, full throttle. And just pop. Yeah. Look at this thing. This is actually a really nice little unit, John. It looks really cool now with the black tires. And the black deck. Yeah. The rims. It's it used to be like gray and the deck was orange. Yeah. And then it's got these gnarly looking tires on it too. That's what I kind of got excited about when I saw it. That's why they call it the special edition. Okay. Well, I see. I know. Well, friends, I, I got to be honest. Five grand right there. And you know what? Huskavalna. My wife's got some supper on the go. Johnny, come in and. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, the manual. Okay, good. Thank you, buddy. Come in and get a check. So we're going to go inside and write a check. Friends, thanks for watching. I can't believe we got a brand new lawnmower. Yeah, we do. And uh, guess what? It's a Hurskavalna, which really is the way it should be around here. Uh, Huskies, you know, I mean, it speaks for itself. I've, I've run Huskies my whole career. I've been a husky man, except for the trees, tree trimming, the tree or tree top topping and stuff. I used the stills. They had the market on the top and saws, guaranteed. But I will say this: I had a three thirty five years ago, and it was a dandy. But I dropped it out of a bucket truck twice, and Donnie couldn't. He could only repair it once. He couldn't fix it the second time. But anyways, wasn't that cool seeing Johnny come out? He's a busy man, and I I almost could get that thing in the Merc, friends. I was at Walker's. I went to the chiropractor yesterday, and. Uh, I got some footage of that. Let me know if you want to see me getting crunched. He didn't really crunch me, but he did some interesting things to my, this area here. So anyway, friends, just wanted to pop in at the end of the video and say thank you to everybody who watches and puts the wonderful comments in, in, the, in the comment section and throws the thumbs up and pops over to buckandbillyray.com for your merchandise. The little store really helps the channel out, friends. Thank you all so much. Um, I'm excited to get this mower. I cracked into it there the, last night when it showed up and mowed, I would say, more than half the lawn in about 15 minutes. <laughs> Pretty excited. Work hard, be honest, and be kind, friends. Catch you on the next one.